Running Kimono here. I hope you're doing great. This was my haul today at Walgreens and it was a success after everything was said and done for these items. Specifically, they were like $1.57 each. Meme potato stuff I needed for the household. And then I also got some stuff on clearance I will talk about in a quick second. And even though this looks like a chintzy little haul, it really wasn't chintzy. It turned out perfectly for me. I will let you guys know that those very goofy percentage off coupons that were showing up are not working. So, um, I tried to use them online first thing this morning, not working. Nobody's having any luck with them. So I'm wondering if um, that was a mistake that they didn't, they weren't supposed to release it to us yet. If that's supposed to be for next week or what have you, but the start and end date is very goofy. It's like April the 1st till June the 30th. And just, uh, yeah, I kind of knew something was going to go like sideways with that, but this deal went perfect. I just used some points to earn register rewards. And I was very, very happy with that. And then right here we have a little uh, cheapy over at um, Rite Aid. And then I also have a free deal for Pamprin if you can't track down the Solano Pass or if you wanna get Pamprin. Weather report for you guys on a gloomy rainy day. It was nicer this morning. And um, this is, I guess, tomorrow is the end of uh, Memorial Day, but um, just a, a quiet weekend at home. Um, I even passed up going to uh, the Dollar General yesterday because, um, I did not want to run into people um, and even though we're not at a stay-at-home um, order anymore up here in uh, in northern Michigan um, I absolutely didn't want to uh, run into somebody and possibly get sick so I'm really picking and choosing when I'm going out and doing these little deals hi to my mom if she's watching I hope she's having a very restful um, Memorial Day weekend okay guys so let's talk about this right off the cuff um, so I basically had $32 of merchandise and I had $12 of coupons and if I would have had the, you know, um, 5,000 points when you spend 20, if I would have paid cash for this, it would have been a lot better and I'll break that down as well with that booster. Unfortunately, the only booster that I had was spend 50, get 5,000 and since I'm not rich, I didn't do that. I just used points this week to do a couple quick deals. So I'm gonna just show you um, these deals bite by bite and then I'm gonna show you, talk about the basket and then I will talk about that 5,000 when you spend 20 if you would have utilized that and how the numbers would have shaked out. So these nice trash bags um, were are buy one, get one, um, free. The first one is $4.49. Now, if you remember a couple months back, this used to be part of the buy one, get two for free. They've since taken this out. So I kind of don't like that because I use these for, um, you know, when the cats do their business in the litter box. So, um, but still to get them for points, I have no problem with that. Um, so they're basically like $2.25 each um, if you divide them by two, but $4.49 for the first, the second one's free. Venus Razor, uh, this guy was $9.99. We had a $4 digital coupon that showed up this morning. Utilizing that, I had to pay $5.99 uh, for it. I basically used points and I got back a $3 register reward. So it made it $2.99, but again, guys, I used points to pay down the majority of the balance, so it really didn't matter. And then of course I couldn't pass up these fancy schmancy Olay body washes. I got this one in coconut oil. I just thought I wanted something special. <laughs> so I would be the queen of Sheba with these and they seem really nice. Like it's a new design on the bottle. I'm very sure that all the other older ones, they're gonna try to make them into these bottles. They Manufacturers do this every couple years and the manufacturer for this one is P&G. So I'm not surprised by that. So two of these guys is $12 on the nose. We had a four off a two digital coupon. So you'll either have that for the Old Spice or the Olay. And if you wanted to do like, to get two Old Spices and two Olays, you'd have to do it in two separate transaction guys because the register reward will only print out once per transaction. So anyhow, this was two for 12, subtracting that four off a two digital. That's eight. I basically used points to pay that down. And I got back a a $4 register reward. So the final price point for this was four for two or $2 each. But again, I used points. So I really didn't fill that one out of pocket.
little snafu that I had today. Uh, these little uh, toothbrushes are $2.99 a piece. So for two of them, um, it was, I didn't write it down because I'm an idiot. So for two of them, it was like $5 and I believe 98 cents or something like that. We had a four off the two digital that showed up this morning. So I paid $1.98 out of pocket and a $2 register reward was supposed to print out. It did not. Did not. Here's a fun story for you. Um, I chatted with customer service on walgreens.com and they immediately told me like, hey, thanks for getting in touch with us, but unfortunately you're gonna have to get in touch with Catalina. And I did not wanna have to do that because sometimes they will reward you the register reward or they'll give you a million excuses why they're not gonna give it to you. And I've been getting the excuses lately, so I, I don't wanna ever deal with Catalina. So, um, the service rep on um, walgreens.com was less than nice. And sometimes you deal with somebody who's grumpy. I called the 1-800 number a little bit later. I'll put it here on the screen. And uh, they just put the 2000 points on my card right away, which is great. Now I had a theory that this would in fact double dip. If you had bought the toothpaste, you would get both the $2 register reward and 4,000 points. I think I saw somebody on Instagram have some success with that. Unfortunately, I would rather have toothbrushes than um, toothpaste. This was still a freebie for me, and I'm very sad, even though it wasn't as big of a moneymaker, it was still great for me. So just to show you all of this merchandise, the toilet, the, the little bags, these, that, and that, that was a subtotal of... Um, $32.46, I had $12 of manufacturers, so the new total was $20.46. I used 20,000 points, and I had to pay down the tax plus the 46 cents, and then I got back 2,000 points for this. It should have been a register reward because it was tagged. Um, a $3 for this guy and a $4 for that guy. So that would be um, $11 after everything was said and done for the seven items, or $1.57 each. Now, let's just say I had uh, that 5,000 when you spend 20, I would have gotten back um, $14 or $14 in points or register rewards, like a mix of it. So it would have basically made this basket like $6, which is still like really fantastic. Fantastic. And if you would have had both a digital and paper, it would have been a dollar for this basket, which would have even been better. But unfortunately, I didn't get it. So, um, you know, just some odds and ends that are really fantastic this week. If more deals crop up, I will absolutely let you guys know. But I'm very delighted with my little haul today. Also on clearance, guys, I found two little items. Um, and these are items that I picked up because I wanted to try. First item is this um, like a sleeping pill by Pandol, I've never heard of this company. It was $1.49 and I just wanted to try it and there was 50 caplets in there. Even if you were just gonna use it as a sleeping pill, I mean, that's just a fantastic price point. And then I grabbed this one as well, um, this psoriasis. Um, it's like a lotion of some sort. My mom suffers from really bad psoriasis. So adding these two items up together, it was like just under four bucks and I used 4,000 points and I paid like 22 cents for these two. So, you know, not too shabby. And my store had a lot of these pen dolls. So if it's a really great uh, sleeping med or, you know, acetaminophen for nighttime, I'll definitely stock up on a couple. I think this guy expires um, November. So, you know, definitely something to have for the household. Um, so delighted with that. Okay guys, so before we talk about Rite Aid, we're gonna talk about HelloFresh really quickly. HelloFresh is a food subscription box. I have been with them for about two years. And right now, especially with the meat shortage and all the uncertainty and the fact that I don't wanna be in the grocery store for hours on end, you know, looking for every little um, sun-dried tomato or whatever for this recipe, it's just nice that everything is put in a box with the instructions and I can just put it together really quickly. 
So anyhow, I'm um, very delighted with this and this is a service I will not be stopping anytime soon because it saves me a lot of time to, you know, have the box delivered and then to make a dinner, you know, really quickly. The prep time for some of these meals is like, you know, 10, 35 minutes to cook. Everything's included. And if you're not a really good cook, you know, this really will help you to step up your cooking skills. And if you could follow directions to a T, I mean, I think this is like a couple steps above Applebee's. If you guys are interested, I have a link in the notes to get $40 off your first box. This is for new signups only. So it'll be something in the neighborhood of $20 for three amazing meals shipped to your house by UPS. And say you wanna just do a one and done, you would order your first box and then immediately after, put your account on, on pause or deactivate it and you can try three amazing meals or you might end up in like my situation where you're signed up with them for like two years. And this has been really great, especially with being at home so much lately that it's something that we look forward to. We're not even getting food at like takeout because we're worried about you know germs and stuff. So this just has really been um, fantastic. And my husband loves to cook, so he's been making a lot of the food lately. So just, you know, it's just really fantastic. No pressure, but if you're interested in trying this on the cheap, this might be the week to do it. Um, you know, everything considered, this might be a really nice treat for you. Last store that we have, guys, is Rite Aid. And I just did one quick transaction because I was very short in bonus cash. I had uh, very little. So the, the deal that I got, and this is a fantastic deal this week, it's when you buy these items and they're priced at $9. However, with gold discount, they're a little bit less. You get back $8 in bonus cash. So these little Solano pots, it's a sort of like um, heating pad of some sort for aches and pains. Now, my mom really loves this product because my mom is Japanese and um, it's made in Japan. So she really likes this product for whatever reason. And yeah, it's it's really good apparently, the medicinal purposes of this for sore backs and aches and pains. So this guy specifically was $8.39. I used bonus cash and I got back $8, so it made it 39 cents each. And you can do this up to four times per store card. On this one store card, I had like $15 of bonus cash. So I only did it twice. So now I have 16 for tomorrow, so I can go back and get two more for my dear old mom, um, a little something for her. The last thing that we're going to talk about is the Pamperin deal. Um, this is for the 40 count. Unfortunately, my store only had um, the 24 count of the Pamperin, so it wasn't going to work. It had to be the 40 count of those pills. And it's for um, ladies during their special time of the month, you know, some healing elements of that to help with the uh, pains and bloating and all that stuff. So the 40 count of the Pamperin is $7.43. Again, special shout out to Ravi. He was talking about it first thing this morning. At my store, I found that a lot of the Pamperin had 55 cent peelies on it for the smaller ones, but the peely is for any size. So it would drop it down to $6.88 for a bottle of Pamperin. Getting back $8 in bonus cash, it would make the Pamperin free, plus a $1.12 moneymaker. money maker so that is quite fantastic so if you might have a Rite Aid you might want to do this deal this week it's um, even if you're paying if you're if you don't have gold discount and you have to pay nine dollars to get this for a buck yeah that's extreme couponing and really great so as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye